Hi, amen. Praise God. We give God the honor and the glory. Thank you. Welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. I will be reading to you the scripture, James chapter 5, verse 17. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. I'm going to do a devotion with you. This is the midnight devotion. And the teaching is coming from Dr. D.K. Okalakoya. Amen. Mountain Fire Ministries. Amen. Praise God. Miracles where miracles are birthed. Praise God. Miracles are birthed. So we just thank God. Amen. As we pursue in the message. This passage makes us to understand that there are secrets of prayer. The people of old understood but we do not. Elijah used prayers to lock up heavens and put the keys in his pockets and walked away after three years he unlocked it. Prayer is that platform where you wage war against the kingdom of darkness. Amen? Prayer is that platform where you wage war against the kingdom of darkness. Prayer is a place where the power of God is acquired and sustained. In the history of the church, there were no personal or city revival without prayer. If you want to kill anybody, kill the prayer life. Amen? And and that's, that's the key thing. That's why the enemy is constantly attacking people who pray. His main assignment is to kill, steal, and destroy. He will do whatever he can do to get you off the tower, off the wall, because you are sending fire into the camps of the enemy. You are deploying the angels of God to go ahead of you. Amen. And you are allowing the spirit of the Lord to lead you, to guide you in your prayer life. So if you want to destroy anyone, you have to destroy their prayer life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Prayer is a key to unlock closed doors. So whatever door in your life is locked. Now you know how to unlock it. You must pray. Prayer is the key to God's blessings. Prayer is the antidote against worry and the cares of the world. Through prayers you can raise a standard against the enemies of God. By it you can rule the world. Prayer reveals God's agenda to his people. Prayer is a sanitizer. It cleanses our environment. Prayer paralyzes the power of darkness. Prayer paralyzes the works of the wicked. When you and I prevail in a place of prayer, you will overtake. We will overtake with barefoot against those that have gone ahead of us. Amen. When you have dream, you don't understand. Prayer sharpens all understanding in the name of Jesus. Prayer gives you power to pursue your dreams. Where power change hands is the place of prayer. Prayer creates terror to the kingdom of darkness. Prayer has divided the sea. Prayer has shut up the lion's mouth. Prayer has brought fire from heaven. Prayer has brought rain from heaven. Prayer charges like a battery is being charged. God does nothing without prayer. God does nothing without prayer. God does nothing without prayer. Prayer demolishes the fortress of the enemy. Prayer is hard work. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is something called prayer dose. When you take medicine, a dose is a quantity of medicine to work for you. Some are in small quantity of dose over a period of time. Some are in larger quantity. Elijah prayed seven times before the little cloud appeared before rain fell. Which of the doses of prayer did Elijah pray that brought the rain? Is it number one or number three? A dose of prayer is needed. Would there have been rain had Elijah stopped at number three? Something to think about. It means many prayer investments can be wasted if one last prayer is omitted. Prayer can also be doses in the mystery of prayer there can never be an overdose but there can be an underdose constant dose of prayer will go fast 
ceaseless prayer will go further. There are certain problems that the doses you take is required day and night. Some conditions may require you to pray day, daytime and do virtual. If you have tried day dose, try Jesus prescription, day and night dose. If the problem you are facing takes 10 days and the dose you are use you use is one dose, you are looking for trouble. Amen. Elijah prayed again and again. Prayer brought the rain. If with the status of prophet Elijah pray again and again, we need to pray and we need to pray more. When God's people come together, they pray extraordinary. They pray and extraordinary things happen. The Bible says when two or three are gathered, he is in the midst. The Bible says one can chase a thousand, two can chase out ten thousand to flight. No prayer is wasted. Do not die. Amen. Do not die. Your prayers are not wasted in the name of Jesus. All prayers you pray is like a term by eating the cupboard, little by little, bit by bit. One day you will strike the target. Amen. So it's so important for us to pray and pray serious prayers. Understand the battle that we are in. Amen. We have to understand the battle we are in. We have to make sure this is not our battle, but this is God's battle. You must make sure that when you pray, you are praying the assignment that God has placed you to. I feel like a lot of times we pray, but we're not praying according to God's assignments. We are praying according to our agenda and that causes a lot of harm for us. That causes a lot of problem for us. I mean, because the powers of darkness, I mean, they are ready to pursue us and cause harm in our lives. I mean, so make sure it is God's will for you to pray for a certain thing, a certain person and a certain place, whatever the situation is, make sure our father is in the midst of it. I mean, if there's sickness in your body, Pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The enemy will assign his enemies against you. The powers of darkness will assign his enemies to destroy you. But you must declare and decree the word of God. It's important for you to go before the Lord and seek the face of God. Amen. And watch God move before you. Move ahead of you. He is the Lord of breakthrough. Amen. He is Jehovah Gibber. Amen. He is the God who removes the iron gates and pulls the bars of back up out the way. So he goes ahead of us and we follow through. Breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So we praise God for the anointing. Amen. The enemy holds our resources. Amen. So we must command the word of God. Speak the word of God and command the enemy. Amen. To vomit up all our possessions. Vomit up whatever he has taken from us. He must vomit it up in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If it's money, vomit it up now in the name of Jesus. If it's land, vomit it up now in the name of Jesus. If it's uh, academia, education, vomit it up now in the name of Jesus. If he has stolen your wife or your husband, he command him to vomit it up now in the name of Jesus. If he has stolen your children through miscarriages, command him to vomit it up now in the name of Jesus. Whatever he has taken from you, command him to vomit it up now in the mighty name of Jesus. If he's taking your inheritance, to command him to vomit it up now in the name of Jesus. If he's taken anything away from you and you're fully aware this is nothing but Satan, command him to vomit up all your possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we just praise God. Amen. That every battle that you are in, has already been won by the blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. You have won this battle in Jesus name. There will be no setback. There will be no shame. There will be no sickness. There will be no stagnancy. There will be nothing to stop you. There will be no suffering. Amen. There will be no sin in your life. Amen. Because you would deal with it through prayer. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King. This is a quick teaching. I'm in a quick devotion. I pray that the Lord will be your portion. He will be your help. I pray that you will go back and begin to identify the areas of prayer. This is the month where I will be teaching on prayer. I will be doing devotions uh, through um, Mountain Fire Miracles Ministries uh, with Dr. D.K. Okalokoya. This is the month. This is the year. This is the time we must enter in 
the enemy's camps through prayer and fasting. Amen. So I will be talking more on that, how to fast with the word of God, what what to eat, what not to eat, how to submit. It may not even food may not be your issue. Amen. Maybe some other things that you really need to focus on and fast from in Jesus name for you to receive your deliverance in Christ Jesus. So just know your time is coming, in Jesus name. You will have your healing and your restoration. You will have double portion. Amen. Shame will not be your portion. Amen. God is the lifter and the covering of our heads. So we bless God that he is your lifter. He is your covering. And we bless God for the whole arm of God. Amen. And we bless God that he will enlighten you with truth. That he will open your eyes. Amen. That there will be no more spiritual blindness. So we bind the spiritual blindness. We bind the spiritual deafness in your life right now. And we speak life in your mouth right now. No more spirits of dumbness or mute spirit in the name of Jesus we bind those spirits right now and send them back to the pit from where they come from in Christ Jesus name so we bless God we thank God for tonight may God be your portion as you enter into the midnight hour rejoice amen no matter what time of the day is for you rejoice in Jesus name amen and I'm your host prophetic utterance Jacqueline King